Empirical provide compelling, interactive learning across a range of delivery options. Live on site, live online or online anytime, we have a training course that is ideal for you. For a no-obligations chat about your training requirements, contact us at empirical.com. Until 4G provides the ubiquitous coverage that we'd expect to get from today's 2G networks, there will be a period of time whereby calls initiated in 4G need to be handed over to the 2G or 3G network because 4G coverage is diminishing. So to facilitate that process, a technique called single radio voice call continuity is used in cellular networks. And this is the architecture that's required. So we've got a 4G call in progress. It's a VoLTE, a voice over LTE call. That's on the 4G LTE network. And the controlling aspect of that is the IMS control network. We also have our 2G, 3G voice network. So we need some controlling entities to coordinate this handover process. They are the mobility management entity in 4G, the mobile switching center server in 2G or 3G, and the SRVCC controller in our IMS network. So we get to the point whereby our 4G coverage diminishes to the extent that the 4G access network tells our MME that we need to do a handover. But we're in call. So this handover needs to be as seamless as possible. And the handover is coordinated across our MME, our MSE server, and our SRVCC controller. So the MME will tell the MSE server a handover request is required, and that MSE server will be triggered into both establishing resources in the 2G or 3G network so that that access network is ready to handle the customer, but also inform the IMS, and in particular the SRVCC controller, that a redirection of voice needs to take place. And once those two things fall into place, we've set up the 2G or 3G access network, we've redirected our voice away from 4G towards 2G or 3G, then our session, our vo voice session can continue within our 2G architecture with a seamless handover taking place. Need to know more? Why not visit our store where you can choose from over 200 hours of video-based training? Alternatively, you can contact us to discuss any specific training requirements you may have.